Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are unveiling this out after roadmap to transfer your USDT from Binance straight to your bank account in 2023. So follow along as we decode the process step by step empowering you to seamlessly convert your digital assets into fiat currency. So stay tuned to discover the bridge between your Binance USDT holding and your bank account simplifying your crypto to cash transactions. So make sure to stick by. Let's dive right into this video and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, it's going to be like Brave Browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to the URL section and here you'll have basically to type Binance.com and hit the intro button. Once you do so, make sure to go and log in into your account. At the top right corner, you'll find the login option here. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and create an account. And that's, of course, if you don't have an account. If you don't know nothing about Binance, you can simply scroll down, read more information about it. And you can even find here frequently asked questions. I'll open them all. If you have one of those questions, you can pause the video and check it all by your own, which is the answers, of course. So, of course... For us, once we created our account and we're ready to use, go to your dashboard. So go and click on your icon here at the top right corner, click on dashboard, and this will take you to the dashboard right away. So before, like starting uh, how to transfer your USDT from your Binance account to a bank account to real cash, you will have to verify your ID. Without verifying your ID, you'll not be able to do so. So make sure to verify your ID. Of course, simply you can go to your account at the top right corner. And as you can see, you'll find yourself in verified. So if you're in verified, you will not be able to do so. You'll have to verify your ID. Of course, if you go to the dashboard, you'll find like a verify your identity right into your face. Or as an example, you can go to the first panel, click on account, click on authentication or identification. And here you have to verify your ID. So click on get verified. Once you do so, you'll have to choose like your country, where are you from, and you'll have to complete the following steps to verify your account in seven minutes. It's gonna be even less, don't worry. So you'll have to enter your personal information, government issued ID, liveness check, and if you don't know how, you can simply watch this small video. As you can see, it's two minutes, 30 video, 30 second video, but you don't need to do so because it's very easy. So if you click on continue, you'll be able to get the Binance app to verify your ID from there, because you will need to take a picture of your ID card, passport, or driver license. If you don't want to do it, if you have like the pictures on your PC, you can simply click on continue here. And here, what you'll need to do is simply enter your nationality. Like for me, I'll just put this, I'll put some random numbers here. And date of birth, like 2002, month 02, 20. Click on continue. Here, you'll have to enter the residential address. So I'll just put some random things. Postal code, this thing, click on continue. And here, you'll have to choose whatever you wanna like verify your identity with. Do you wanna verify it with ID card, passport, or driver license? I'm not going to proceed, because if I proceed, I just enter some random informations, I'll get banned, so I don't wanna get my accounts banned. So I'll just go back into the dashboard right away. So for you, if you didn't verify your ID, you'll not be able to do this USDT transfer transfer from Binance to real cash. So if you did the verification, you'll have to wait uh, around like maybe 30 minutes, maybe one hour, maybe five hours, and maybe even one day, depending on how busy they are. If they are not busy, you'll get verified within the same minutes or same five minutes. But if they are busy, it may take some time. So be patient. Now, what you'll need to do, once you have your assets, make sure that your assets is transferred to your funding account. So go to this left panel once you are on the dashboard, click on assets and click on overview. If you have your assets or your crypto or USDT on any other wallet other than the funding wallet, you will have to go click on transfer. Make sure to choose here to the two wallets. It should be here funding. And from, you'll have to choose where do you have your money. Do you have your USDT and Fiat and Spot? And do you have them in any other place? What you'll need to do now is simply select the coin, the coin that you want to get into funding. Of course, for us, it's going to be USDT. Why do we transfer to funding? Because we will not be able 
to get it into cash without transferring it into funding because funding is the only wallet that uh, will let you like sell your USDT to real persons that will get you cash for your crypto. Choose the USDT, click on max for me, I have zero on my account. Click on confirm and you will be ready to go. What you'll need to do now is simply go to this trade at the top, go to this trade, and you'll have to go and click on P2P, which is buy and sell cryptocurrencies using bank transfer and 800 plus options. Once you do so, you will be taken to this page. What you'll need to do here, instead of buy, make sure to go and select, sorry, you will have to go and select sell. Of course, this is P2P transactions. If you want it cash, you can simply select cash from here and see if there are some options to get it into cash. For me, I'm not going through that. I'll just use P2P because as we said, we would like to transfer USDT from our bank, uh, our Binance account to our bank account. So once you select sell, you would like to select the money that you will have or you will need to, or you want to get paid with. Let's say an example, it's USD. Once you select USD, you'll have to use the payments that you want to get paid with. They want to get paid with Wise. They want to get paid with Revolut. They want to get paid with like Venmo, Cash App, whatever you want to get paid with. Let's say an example wants Cash App. So select Cash App. And as you can see, they will update all those filters depending on whatever you choose. So you'll have now to go and choose the seller that you want depending on the price. So one USDT will get you 1.005 USD from this guy. But he has a limit of $100 to $15,000. If you need more than this or lower, lower than this, you'll have to go and check for other users. So here's an example. Let's say we choose this one. We'll basically have to click on sell USDT. You'll have to enter the amount that you want to sell of USDT. Let's say an example, you have 100. You will find here the amount that you will receive of USD. And you will have to set my payments method. You'll have to add your cash up here. Just enter your cash tag, email, it's just optional, click on confirm, and you'll be good to go. Of course, every payments uh, option has different uh, things to add. So make sure to add your correct things and make sure to even read the advice, uh, the advice, advertiser, of course, terms of this buyer carefully. As you can see, uh, USA cash tags only, I'll pay from cash balance, web receipts, uh, uh, receipts available, and no card and no bank. And the, he even have his telegram here. So once you select everything, click on sell USDT, you'll have to wait then. When you receive your money on your cash app, you'll have to click on an option, which is release USDT. And basically you transfer your USDT from Binance to your bank account very easy. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. And I'll see you in the next video.